Hey everyone, um, so I'm going to be doing this all on Windows maybe, uh, uh, maybe some Ubuntu, uh, but basically the reason I'm choosing Windows is because it's not as perfect when it comes to Node.js, so therefore, you know, what's the word, uh, <laughs> in case we run into any errors, you know, I can kind of walk along walk you guys through that and I assume most of you are using Windows as well okay so I'm also gonna be using sublime text as the text editor there's no IDE really for Node.js um, there's a couple kind of out there but I just use a regular text editor because I fear that's the best way to do it alright so with, with um, sublime text basically you wanna just make a folder and under uh, your user in Windows or Ubuntu or Mac and then you're gonna go to file open folder and open that folder that will kinda of be your working directory for uh, sublime text uh, once you do that you're gonna right click here and go to new file and then control or command s and save I'm just gonna save it as app.js and there we go we have a JavaScript file pretty simple um, now this first tutorial I'm gonna basically be going over the simple web server that's on the node.js site it's um, so I'm not taking any real credit for that it's you know it's kind of out there for everyone to see I'm just gonna be explaining uh, really how it works um, so let's get started um, you're gonna type var HTTP equals require HTTP, oh sorry, in uh, quotes, HTTP, semicolon. Um, basically, what that's doing is you're requiring the HTTP module, um, which allows us to create a web server. Um, that's basically kind of like if you have a C++ background or C background, it's kind of like your include. Um, it's just a little bit longer and unfortunately not as nice looking, but whatever um, then we're going to do HTTP create server um, function require or not rec res and curly braces in case you can't see that um, then we're going to do res dot right head 200 and basically what we're doing here is actually just writing text um, it's a little bit longer and uh, messier but uh, it you'll see the point of all this later on um, you'll see the advantages of Node.js compared to like other stuff um, then we're going to do res.end Hello, and sorry, I am getting over a little bit of a cold. And back n backslash n, the n line. And after that, the function is going to do listen on port one three three seven, and on local IP. So we're going to do one two seven dot zero dot zero dot one. And then we're just going to do a console dot log server running at HTTP. And this is just for us. Um, you don't actually have to do this part, but this is kind of what we see in the console. So it's kind of like uh, debug for debugging purposes. You can do a console log. Um, all right, so let's just make sure. Uh, let's run this real quick. I'm going to bring over the command prompt. I'm going to cd, which is change directory, into uh, my node.js directory, and then I'm going to do cd into node toot for tutorial. And I'm going to just basically how you run a node application. You just type node, 
and then the name of your file that's basically the main. Um, this one is app.js. So I'm going to do that. And, and it's because I didn't save the file. So save the file before you do that, and then you can just hit up arrow, and bam. Server running at blah 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 blah. So we can actually just, I um, guess not, but we can. If I uh, make this smaller, we can just go to our local IP 127.0.0.1.133.0.1. Or sorry, slash one three three seven. No, that's not it. Sorry. Um, sorry, my bad. Localhost. This is just easier. I was trying to be all fancy. Uh, localhost out or colon one three three seven, and we get simple hello world. Now, you're probably like, okay, I did a Java tutorial once. It was much simpler to do hello world, or I did C plus plus tutorial, and it was much simpler. It's not all this stuff. Well, this is running on the web. I don't know what else to tell you. I really N nodes. You can do more advanced things simpler, simpler, simpler. Yeah, um, <laughs> with less effort. But the little things can sometimes be a pain. Now let's kind of go over more of this code and to cancel the web server. We just hit Control C. Um, I guess once. And uh, okay, so we went over to this. Basically, it's an include. Um, it just requires the HTTP module, which is on Node's documentation. So if you want to like look up a module, like and one we're probably gonna be going over is the net module very soon. And if you want to look at that, it's all in the docs. If you go to nodejs.org, um, I'll put put a link in it, link to it. Um, okay, so basically, we're just calling a function, create server, which passes a parameter of a function, which is basically just stating uh, what the text write style is gonna be basically. Um, then write it out through a parameter and yeah I mean it's pretty straightforward and then we're just telling it to listen because part of the create server it has a function where we can listen on this port on our local IP and then this is just for us this console.log so that's pretty much it um, if you need more help post a comment you know, like the video. I'll great, greatly appreciate it, and we'll. I'll try my best to help you guys out. Um, so yeah. Um, see you guys next time.